This is the, I think, our consistent message that as people uh, are not vaccinating um, effectively against these diseases, that we're going to start to see some recurrences of them. Um, this has happened in the U.S. over the past few years as there have been uh, increasing numbers of outbreaks of pertussis, um, most notably in California a couple of years ago, and uh, it, it's going to continue to happen as our vaccination rates fall. Actually, it has been here for a couple, I don't know if it's last year, in the last couple of years, there have been some small outbreaks of, of pertussis in the, in the Kansas City area, and uh, again, we'll predict that those will continue um, as our vaccination rates uh, are lower than they used to be. The really susceptible group uh, for bad outcomes from pertussis are infants. So in infants, especially those um, under six months who have not had a chance to be fully vaccinated against the disease, it can be a, a, a deadly um, infection for them. So they're just not able to, uh, to clear their airway to protect themselves in the way that um, um, older people are. And just by uh, the fact that they're so small, their airways are smaller, that they have an increased risk of of pneumonias and uh, basically of uh, having a respiratory arrest uh, related to the disease. It's an upper respiratory infection. It's cough um, spread through the air and spread through direct contact. So pertussis is, is classically the 100-day cough. It's just somebody is just coughing and coughing and coughing. Um, and that tends to be in the older, in the adult and adolescent range. Um, it goes through a few phases. It looks like just a common cold as it's starting. It's uh, this runny nose, fever, a little fever, just a little bit of cough, nothing that just, you know, makes it stand out from the common cold. But then it progresses and becomes this uh, staccato cough, this cough where the, the child is just coughing, 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 and the whoop part of it comes when they, they are cough so many times out, they take this huge breath in and it generates this distinctive sound, which luckily very few of us have heard except in videos, but uh, if you've seen those videos, it's not something you want anybody to have. It can be treated with antibiotics. I mean, it's a bacterial infection, so it can be treated with antibiotics if it's caught early enough. Um, and there is the, the problem, it has to be caught early enough. Uh, and recognized as a disease. Again, in the younger the child, the more rapidly it can progress. And so um, you have to be aware of it and, and catch it soon. But, but it can be treated with, with antibiotics that are easily available. The prevention of vaccine-preventable diseases is vac vaccinating your child, getting those uh, vaccines in according to schedules so that that child is protected, and then keeping up with the vaccine schedules as you get older so that in a, in a household where perhaps there's the 7 and 8-year-old or the 17 and 18-year-old with a new baby in there, that, that there's that uh, cocoon effect of protecting them against the, that disease when we can't vaccinate the baby yet, uh, we want to make sure that the people around them don't have the disease either. The rates of pertussis in this country have gone up dramatically over the past 10 to 15 years. In the 70s and 80s, there, were, there was a long period where there were a few thousand cases a year which spread across our country. It was not really outbreaks. As the anti-vaccine movement gained ground, though, uh, in the 2000s, uh, that number has continued to increase so that in 2012 there were almost 50,000 cases of pertussis in this country, which was the most since 1950. And that number last year was down, or sorry, 2013 was down a little bit, um, and we'll just have to see what 2014 and 15 say, but the reality is that we'll continue to see these much higher levels of this disease until uh, we get our vaccine rates back up. We have to talk to them about the, the risks and benefits of, of vaccines. Again, from our side, the benefits far, far outweigh any potential risk. Um, again, the problem is that very few people in this country have ever seen an infant with whooping cough. Um, and the advice might be that they look up some of those old videos and get some sense of how really devastating this disease can be. Um, but we just have to convince, you know, work with these parents and uh, talk about 
the deadly effects of this disease and how they need to do what is best for their child to protect them from that.